What's good, y'all? L Famous living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share this dope content if you like it, you heard? Let's get it. Let's get it. Now, this one here is about Rikers Island, 1991. The terror years, you heard? Yeah, the terror years, you heard? I remember when I first went on the island in 1991, I got locked up for a robbery, you heard? I snatched a dude chain and I broke his arm, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So they gave me robbery in the first. Petty larceny though, you know what I'm saying? But it was robbery in the first because I broke the dude arm, you know what I'm saying? So boom, I a month before that robbery, I had they had me accomplice of another robbery that I really didn't do nothing that I wasn't accomplice a part of, but they locked me up and said I was a part of it and they charged me as accomplice of a robbery. So I was out on I was out on the R and R for that robbery when I got caught for the new robbery where I broke a new arm. You know what I'm saying? So automatically when I went to the judge, I'm getting I'm getting a, a decent high bail, you heard? And I'm go if I'm going to the island, you heard? Boom. I don't come from a family that, you know what I'm saying, a criminalized family where, you know what I'm saying, where like if a person get locked up, my grandmother, my grandmother or people in the family come together and they say, oh, let's get, let's go get Larry out. You know what I'm saying? Let's go spend our money and get Larry out because he went and got himself in trouble. I didn't come from a family like that. My grandmother bought houses with her money. She took care of us, she took care of the kids, she took care, we, she made sure that we had the best, you heard, off of her money, so I wasn't, like, 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 when I used to get in trouble, I never used to really look to my house to, to get out of trouble, you know what I'm saying, to get a bail, you heard, so every time I got locked up, I had to either do the time or get out on the R&R, &R, you heard, you know what I'm saying, I only got bailed out a few times, you know what I'm saying, so now, boom, so now, look, so now, Soon as I, soon as I got, soon as I caught, caught I, I stepped into to see that judge on the, with the robbery and assault. That nigga remanded me, Rikers Island. You won't be smiling on Rikers Island. You won't be smiling on Rikers Island. Yeah, nigga, shit was terror dome back then, 1991. You heard? And I was with everything. You heard? I got locked up. I was only 16 years old. But I was ready for whatever. You understand what I'm saying? It was a Spanish brother. It was a Spanish brother. Me and him came from um, Bronx um, criminal together. It was a Spanish brother that was telling me like, yo, all you gotta do is go out, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody play you. You heard? I, I've been on the island before. Boom, boom. I was kicking it with him. I was like, I, I was, I was like, what you in for? He was like a body. You heard? And he, he, he was real because his brother was locked up for a body. They had his brother locked up for, for for a body, but he turned himself in because he the one that really did it. So he got his brother out, you heard? So this why he turned himself in, they let his brother go. You heard? Crazy, B. And this Spanish brother was telling me, yo, all you gotta do is go all out. You know what I'm saying? Spanish brother from the Bronx. I forgot his name, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Because we got separated from that same day. You know what I'm saying? But if 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 if, if, if that shit would have never happened with me, I probably would have been rocking out with him, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Because he was official, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, yo, all you gotta do is don't let nobody play you, you heard? Nobody, you heard? Win, lose, or draw. But that was already in me, so I was like, all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Boom. So now, as soon as I get in the house, get in a beef with some niggas, you heard? First day, 24 hours, these niggas be clicked up in there, you heard? When them niggas, they be clicked up. So when they kick, niggas don't be robbing niggas by they self, you heard? Niggas be robbing niggas with a click, you heard? Niggas be fronting on the island, B, you heard? You know what I'm saying? They, they, they try to dress shit up, to try to make shit sound cool and all that. Nah, man. If you was doing sucker shit on the island, you was a sucker nigga, man. You heard? Running around, robbing niggas for petty shit and all that. You know what I'm saying? Praying on young niggas and all that. On niggas that was inexperienced, new jacks and all that. Come on, B. You don't get no prop for that. Dudes was herb destroying, B. A lot of dudes was herb destroying on the island, B. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes was rocking, living off the strength, B. A lot of dudes was living off the strength, man. I ain't gonna even say nothing, but a lot of dudes was living off the strength on the island, B. Especially in 1991, B. 
You had niggas repping off, then you had niggas living off the strength, B. That's my word. You heard? Because you had a lot of doges, you know what I'm saying? A lot of doges running around the island. A lot of niggas that ain't, that want to be accepted, you heard? So they'll do a doja move for a nigga that they, that, that they want to be accepted by. Because they want to be accepted to that clique. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be wanting to be accepted to a clique. You know what I'm saying? So they'll do a lot of doja stuff. You know what I'm saying? So the Anna had a lot of dojas running around 91, 92, 93. You heard? Don't get it twisted, B. A lot of them dudes is dojas, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Only the real heavyweight niggas that was blowing niggas had their name up. You heard? And when I got to the Allen, it was dudes like Dexter running around the hood. Dexter, you heard? Dexter was running around the Allen 1991 with that eight ball shirling on with the mitten, with, with um, shackle from head to toe. You heard? Predicate cutter status. You heard? Yeah. Dexter. You heard? That kid Scar. That kid Scar from Brooklyn. You heard? That dude was putting in mad work. He was a terror. You heard? Told you I heard about Frazier. Frazier was in two up. I seen Frazier in two up, but he came out the box. You heard? And was in two upper. You know what I'm saying? Before Mar 9 got made CMC, when we used to go out to the um to the um to 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 to, to child, every time we seen two upper, it was always love. Cause that cause cause the uptown side, the Mar 9 was was the Bronx and uptown side, and then two upper had an uptown side. You heard a Bronx side, you heard? So every time we seen each other in the yard, we saluted each other. You heard? Mainly the dudes in my house because I was a young buck and I had just got there. But you know what I'm saying? I'm peeping everything, you heard? You know what I'm saying? And I was a part of the mess. Only thing is I'm not dojed out, you heard? Never been a dojer, never. I'll sit there and watch it happen before I be a dojer, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of dudes that's dojers, man. They dojers. You know what I'm saying? They put they self involved in something and then they be the ones that getting blown up. You heard? Thinking it's a game. You heard? Because they dojas. You know what I'm saying? Doja might only get one or two times to really be a good doja. You heard? Because once niggas know you a doja, niggas will blow your motherfucking head off me. Niggas start blowing your motherfucking head off me. Cause usually a doja gonna cut a real nigga. You heard? And a real nigga after you after that, it's it for the doja. Niggas is going in on a doja, you heard? And that doja wind up having a rough one, you heard? While the nigga that sent them, he probably get caught down the line too. Yeah, cause a lot of niggas will be getting caught. A lot of niggas be thinking they sneaky, trying to get niggas blasted and all that, or yapped and all that. And one and one and down the line they wind up getting their head blown off. Cause they run into that dude And that dude be strong You heard You know what I'm saying You can't chump everybody B You heard That's why A lot of dudes At, at, at Allen in the, That was on the Allen In 91 92 and all that A lot of them dudes Got killed too Think about how many dudes Cut dudes Rob dudes Um Um Did some foul shit to dudes And then Dudes ran into them dudes In the, in the street Ran into them dudes coming out they building. Ran into them dudes going to see a shorty. Ran into them dudes over here. Running into them dudes at the parole. You heard? <laughs> I'm telling you, B. Niggas be handling them dudes. You don't hear about them stories, though. You heard? You don't hear about them stories. Yeah, man. Niggas be handling beef, man. You heard? So it's a lot of niggas that got handled. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Because they probably blew a nigga on the island. You know what I'm saying? Or they, they robbed a the nigga because they, cause they had the numbers, you heard? Because they was clicked up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they got a lot of niggas that don't forget nothing too, you heard? A lot of niggas that don't forget nothing, you heard? So a lot of these dudes, man, they animals, man, you heard? They animals, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas were scared of the island, B. Scared to death of the island. A lot of dudes were scared to get cut. You know what I'm saying?
A lot of dudes, you know what I'm saying? And I don't blame them, but I really wasn't scared of getting cut. You heard? And I'm garbled in. I'm glad that I, that's why I, I got cut. You know what I'm saying? I told you I got cut my first day there. Nigga ran up on me and put the razor to my neck. You heard? Still got the mark. Y'all see it right there? It go around like this. It's about this big. It's a line. And, but then down my back, he cut me. You heard? He tried to come to my neck with a razor and say, don't move. I jumped up. And that's when he must have cut me. Turned around, see who it was. It was a nigga I ain't even had no beef with. I just hit the nigga. Doom, dong, do, dong, dong, do, ming. Nigga was over the locker. Boom. You heard? CO come, I'm kicking the nigga and all that. CO come, stop, stop. I ain't stopping. I'm kicking the nigga everything. You heard? I'm going ham. I don't even feel that I got cut. I don't even know I got cut. You know what I'm saying? CO come, smack flames out of me. You heard? I make a jump like I'm going to jump at the CO. The CO like, yeah, I dare you, nigga. Go ahead. I whip your ass, nigga. You heard? When I tell you to stop, you stop, nigga. Get your ass out there on the wall. I'm like this, hesitant, but I'll go out there on the wall. As soon as I get out there in the wall, that's when they let me know I'm cut. I start going crazy. You heard? Them sucking niggas was working with the police. They got me moved to the worst house in the um building, Murder Mar 9. My first day there. I wasn't even in that house 24 hours, Mar 5. Just keeping it real, big. Niggas is birds, you know what I'm saying? Dudes clicked up, you heard? They, they ain't have the heart enough to get at me they self, so they sent a doja, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Word, you know what I'm saying? So I got cut the first day, but after that, I ain't, I wasn't trying to get cut no more. And I seen a I seen a hundred niggas get cut after that, though. Because in Murder Mar 9, no exaggeration, at least three people a week was getting cut. At least four to five people was getting ran out of the house every week. Every week. I'm telling you, B. You know what I'm saying? They used to bring they used to bring dudes from everywhere to Mar 9. You heard dudes come to the come between that A and B gate. It, they can't get on that Brooklyn side. And they gotta go to the, the uptown Bronx side. Them dudes be confusing, B. You heard? We made that Mar 9 CMC. You heard? Preem in them, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Preem and everybody in the house. Everybody that was in that house, you heard? You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, B. All the gangsters was coming through Mar 9 at that time. If they was either there or they was coming through there, you heard? Mar 8 was cool. Had, had all the killers and all that over there too, but they was bidding over there. Mar 9, the uptown side, we was wilding. They, they had our phones, they had our TV, you heard? But when we did have our TV, I'ma tell you at the time, we I was on the island, I was in Murder Mar 9, I'ma tell y'all what videos was rocking. The joint with um, Cypress Hill, how I could just kill a man. Uh, uh, now the reason why everybody in Mar 9 on my that was going started going used to go crazy when that video every time video video music box that video came on video music box was because we didn't have Rap City at that time. You had video music box, you heard? And um we everybody went crazy in, in the TV room, you heard? When that video came on because Everybody in the nine mainly had a body. You know what I'm saying? It was only a few niggas, six, seven niggas in there with robberies, a gun charge, me, a couple of niggas in there with robbery. But everybody mainly had a body. Everybody had a body. So when that song used to come on, How I Could Just Kill a Man. Then they, then it was, I think they was in Cypress Projects out there in Brooklyn. So and they was on her twenty fifth because my man from my block, he was in the video on her twenty fifth when they when they walk in in front of the Apollo. You heard? So I'm like, oh joint, look at my man. I'm bugging. We bugging off the video. We love that video. You know whatever video was out. Mom playing tricks on me. The Ghetto Boys joint. You heard? That joint was crazy. You heard? You know what I'm saying? That joint was crazy. You heard? Boom. 
We used to run to the day room when them, you hear them joints. If you wasn't in the day room and the joints come on, because you know how the joints come on, they might play some bull joint videos, make, you know, lose your interest. You already heard so much or you ain't really into. And then you might be go out, get some cookies, get some tang or Kool-Aid or whatever. And next thing you know, you hear it. I stand for go to walls looking at candles. You know how them joints come, how that joints come on. You heard that joint come on crazy. You heard N niggas just start running to the day room. Yo, yo, this my shit. Turn it up, turn it up, and it's already up. You heard niggas like turn it up, turn it up. But when that joint high, I could just kill a man. Come on. Forget about it. Everybody had a body, so niggas was feeling that song. You heard, and they was in Brooklyn. You heard, you know what I'm saying? So, and it was in, in the hood, 25th, 125th in front of the Apollo, all over. You know what I'm saying? They came to New York City to film that video. Cypress Hill, salute to them, me. Official, you know what I'm saying? They came out here to shoot that high ass video. You heard, and that joint blew up. You heard? That was one of my hottest songs, me. I used to always love that joint the house parties, you heard? Go to the house parties. I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't it wasn't the party wasn't complete until they played that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. That's what we you know, that's the type of time we was on, you know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, made that joint CMC, you heard, cause when I first got to the nine, we used to go out, you know what I'm saying? And let me tell y'all, the nine was the worst house in the four building in nineteen ninety one. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Was the worst house in the four building. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, COs were saying it. The the warden said it. Um, um, inmates were saying it. Everybody knew that Mar Nine was the worst house in the building. You heard? You know what I'm saying? And I was there to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? The beginning of it. You heard? You know what I'm saying? But they say the Nine always been wild. But when I got there, that shit was off the wall. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen, like I said. At least three niggas a week got cut. You heard? Every other day a nigga got cut. You know what I'm saying? Almost every day a nigga got ran out. You heard? For nothing. Just because he's a, he niggas don't know you, niggas is gonna rob you for everything and beat you up and get you out of there. Cause they ain't gonna have you living around them after they just robbed you for everything. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't in there with niggas that'll rob you and have you living in the house. You heard? Nah, they robbing you, you, you out of there, you heard? That's why I told y'all, as soon as I came in the nine, Brooklyn nigga, I didn't even make my, I put my, I put my linen on my bed, and, and I had three or four Brooklyn niggas at my bed talking about, yo shorty, where you, where you from, this and that, that and this, and as soon as I said where I was from, them niggas was like, them niggas was like, um, them niggas, I said I was from the Bronx, them niggas was like, yo, uh, my man want to shoot fire for your jacket. Soon as I say where I was from, niggas like, my man want to sue five for your jacket. And I wasn't living off the strip because the house was ran by Bronx niggas. All the Bronx niggas was, was watching and seeing, hearing the whole conversation. You heard? They were seeing how I was handling it. You heard? I walked right to the back like this. Zip down my jacket like to get loose. So I could be loose, I don't, you know what I'm saying? And they seen I ain't had no shirt on it. And then I, they was like, yo, shorty, why you ain't, what happened to your shirt? I was like, I got, they, and they seen the, the stitches on my back. They was like, oh shit, you got cut shorty? I was like, yeah. And they was like, oh shit, you you still ready to go out and you just got cut in New Jack? I was like, yeah, B. And niggas like, oh, all right, shorty official. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I told you I went to my bed and I started talking to the homie from the Bronx, from Forest Projects, you heard? And he kind of like introduced me to Bam and them, you heard? And Preem came out the bathroom with his little speech. That's how I knew he was the man, you heard? But Preem, Preem ran that house official, you heard? He had dudes getting on the jack, you know what I'm saying? He used to let dudes get on the jack. He wasn't in there bullying dudes. He wasn't in there robbing dudes, you heard? Like, you know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll borrow something for you and dead you like that or something, but he wasn't robbing niggas on some bum shit. Yo, give me your sneakers and all that. You heard? Niggas, niggas was on some bum shit in there, B. It's my word, man. Some niggas was on some bum shit in there, B. They was living like scavengers, B. You heard? They was living like scavengers, you heard? 